Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Sally from Sally Stampers and today I'm bringing you quite a quick and easy and rather cute little thank you gift. Um, as you can see it's a simple uh, stamped candle inside one of our lovely gusseted cellophane bags and again I've used the really cute uh, Label Me Pretty stamp set and the Label Pretty Punch on the top and some of our new ribbon um, which I didn't realise is almost the same colour as my nails <laughs> but that wasn't done on purpose. So I'm going to show you just very quickly how I've um, put this all together. So first of all you obviously need your candle. Now these are a pack of four that I got from Ikea and I think they're three inches high. Let me just grab my uh, ruler. So yeah, that literally from the, the tip there and to the base they are three inches high. Um, so I've got my candle, I've got, which I've just thrown, my piece of tissue paper, which if you remember we have a smooth and a rough, so we stamp on the smooth, and then my Label Me Pretty stamp set, which is beautiful, so I'm going with, sorry, thank you for caring, and this lovely patterned one on the outside. So going to grab the thank you for caring and my C block and my berry burst so make sure you hold your tissue paper as straight as you can and you've got a piece of scrap paper or card underneath and just stamp that on there and then I just need to grab my D block and get my other stamp that pretty pattern and just stamp that on. Just obviously make sure you've got everything level and equal. Stamp that on. I'm just giving these a quick wipe and putting them away because I will need that block again in a moment. So I'll just put that to one side. Let's get rid of the ink. And then we just cut as close as you can to your design with your paper snips or your scissors. It doesn't have to be neat because you won't see it, it will be melted into the candle. I'm sure by now you guys know how to do all of this anyway. Then some wax paper and you pop your design onto your candle. Wrap your wax paper around. And make sure it's tight and then grab your heat tool and melt it and you will notice when the wax starts to melt because your image becomes brighter where it's starting to sweat underneath so you just go around all the edges there melting it into the candle it can get quite hot on your fingers so be careful and it doesn't take long as you can see and that is that bit done and then you just gently peel your wax paper off and there's your stamped candle really pretty in our beautiful new ink colours so I'll pop that to one side these are our gusseted cellophane bags which I've completely forgotten the size of, but they're 13 point something by, I think, 15 point, no, that's not right. They're the, they're the medium sized ones anyway. Um, and then I've got one of the Memories and More cards, which um, I think I either mentioned to you previously in my video. And all you need to do is just trim one of the larger cards down. So you need to trim it to three inches wide and then you need to um, score it at twist it that way and then I've got the white on the bottom where you can't really see it and then you need to score it at two two inches move that out of the way and then obviously you just give that a fold it doesn't need to be um, burnished with a bone folder and then you simply open your bag up and you slide this inside 
and you will notice with a little bit of manipulation that your bag will fold so that you have the join flat across the bottom and you now have a base to put your candle in. So you just need to fiddle a little bit and sort of force it a fraction and then we just pop our candle in and obviously the weight of it then holds the base all in place. So we just need to do our label. So we've got some Whisper White, some Dapper Denim. Back in with my stamp set and I'm obviously going with You're the Best and this pretty one here. So we'll get the image for the label bit first which as I say stamping in dapper denim I've just got my stamp and pad off stamp and scrub sorry off to one side here just to uh, clean it because obviously I need the need the block again and then you're the best goes in the centre. Mine are a little wonky because I'm trying to do it slightly off centre because I have the tripod sitting on my shoulder. And then this beautiful new pretty label punch which just pops in there. And then this beautiful finely woven ribbon which I think is just so pretty. So you just need a small length of that. Again, this is in Berry Burst. And in fact, they actually come in all of the in colours, new in colours, so they all coordinate. And I've actually got my stapler. Now, I think that this is being retired. So if you haven't got one now, get in there and get one because it's fabulous. But if not, as you know, you can get staplers from anywhere. And then I simply get the corners of the bag fold it over just a little not even maybe a centimeter it's just folded over enough and then I just fold the ribbon over like so and then put my label on the top it is a little bit fiddly this bit because you obviously want to make sure it's all tidy and then very simply get your stapler and there we go that's it a quick and simple thank you gift you could probably even do these um, as little favors on a table or if you were doing a thank you dinner to someone if they'd um, maybe done, looked after your house done some house sitting or looked after your pet or your garden or something while, they've, while you've been on holiday anything like that um, if they've given you a lift somewhere I know I have a really good neighbor um, who gives me a lift to hospital or to doctors or anything if I need it if I'm stuck um, so something like this would be perfect to say because it says thank you for caring and I just think it's a fabulous little gift. Um, obviously you can decorate them with more if you wanted to or less um, but I think they're a fabulous little gift and as you can see they're relatively quick and easy to make as well. Um, all of the products that I've used are available um, from the Stampin' Up! store. The link for that is below in the description. Um, Everything that I have used will be listed on my blog and the link for that is also below in the description. If you have any problems or queries or questions, by all means contact me. I'm always happy to answer them and hopefully if you've looked through some of my previous videos you will see that I do generally try and respond to everybody if they ask me a question or have a concern. Um, if you want to purchase any of these products, as I say, they're all available at the Stampin' Up! store and I would really appreciate it and be honoured if you bought your products through me. Um, as I say, the link's below. Thank you very much for joining me guys. I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!